Rolling Rambles with Trippin' Balls Top Speed Technology here. This one's going to be a real short one. I just want to tell you all about how much I hate the way that laptop touchscreens are put together. <clears throat> I found that laptop touchscreens tend to have only a couple ways that they're assembled. You either have separate glass in front of a screen, or you have glass that's fused to a screen, or you have a whole top half of a laptop sandwiched together and glued or very strong adhesived together into this awful sandwich. Unfortunately today, I sort of ran into the last one, but I didn't know it yet, this HP Chromebook. I like when a touchscreen laptop has separate touch glass, but it tends to make it thicker, so not a lot of them are like that. A laptop with fused glass, where the touchscreen glass is attached with adhesive to the LCD, I don't even try to separate that, because screw that, I'll probably break the glass. So the only way I can repair them is to buy a fused glass unit for that specific model, where the LCD and the touch glass are already adhered together and have all the bezel assembly stuff for that model, which makes it more expensive and harder to get. This one today looked like one of those, the part that came in looked like one of those, where you basically just pry off the front and replace the whole front. It's screen and glass, what could go wrong? Oh boy, what could go wrong? Well, I opened this stupid HP Chromebook and, which has cracked touch glass, and it's a bitch to open. And I'm like, why can't I get in this stupid HP Chromebook? Why can't I get the screen off? What is going on? It just doesn't want to come. I keep poking at it. It's got plastic clips at the top. It's got plastic clips along the bottom. It's a two-in-one. So I, I get the clips all disengaged, but it will not come up. And I realize it's got some adhesive going down the sides. Now, this is not unusual. HP is notorious for using this stuff called stretch tape, which is a relatively strong adhesive um, rubber tape that you grab tabs on and pull, thereby stretching the rubber to rip it loose and take it apart, which of course requires you to tape the whole thing back together when you reassemble it. It's really a lot more trouble than it's worth, but I digress. This Chromebook, I poke the adhesive, because there's no stretch tape tabs, I poke it with my pry tool, my metal pry tool, and I basically have to gouge the adhesive all the way down to get it out. Once I get everything out, I realize this LCD does not look the same as what I got. Oh, the front bezel's the same, the screen is the same, but there's an extra part. <clears throat> it took me a while to realize that there was an extra part, because only one side came off. I look and there's this metal bracket that goes down the side. It's sort of like a replacement for the hinge edges. Um, and, and it's fused with plastic, that whole plastic weld thing to the front screen bezel area. And they've used such strong adhesive rubber tape on both sides of this metal bracket. When I try to remove it from the LCD and from the back cover of the unit, the back cover, some of the plastic cracks, the LCD, I can't get it to come off until I pull so hard. Both of them I had to pull so hard that, the, that I actually bent up and destroyed the bracket. Like the thing rolled into a circle on both of them. So I don't have these metal brackets anymore, but I realize that if I just stack up some double-sided tape, it'll go back together and it seems to be fine. But I shouldn't have had to do that. Why did the part not come with those fused brackets? I don't know. Why did they feel the need to use tape to put a laptop together? I don't know, and I hate them for it. Why did they do that? I hate HP. The, just their printers with the whole subscription ink, anti-third-party cartridge firmware crap, that's all bad enough. But then this, this two-in-one Chromebook and their all-in-ones and stuff, there's all kinds of machines by HP that have touch screens or whatever that are held together with stretch tape. What kind of moron thought it was a good idea to use double-sided tape to hold a computer together? Anyway, it pisses me off so much. And, and I just don't, I don't know what else to say about it, but I really needed somebody to hear it because it's just, 
it's so infuriating when you go in there to try and fix a computer and they're basically built in a way that you're, you, you feel like you're going to destroy it. And in fact, the brackets in question were objectively destroyed by me taking it apart. But not because I was at fault. There's no way to really get it apart. I wasn't going to apply heat to it. Fuck that. I'm not applying heat to it to take it apart. I could have. Maybe I could have salvaged them that way, but I shouldn't have to do that. And in the end, it turned out they weren't necessary anyway. So why were they there in the first place? The whole thing held together. I told the customer what I did. I told him how I put it together with double-sided tape. I showed him. I flopped it back and forth a bunch of times. He's like, no, nah, it looks fine to me. I'm good with it. Here's my money. And I'm like, yeah, dude, cool. If it comes out, let me know and I'll fix it for you. But yeah, I, I shouldn't have had to do that. And I, I just, I hate it. I hate it. Why do they have to fuse the screen to the glass in the first place? But then on top of that, why do they have to tape everything together? You know, if you're going to have plastic clips, why can't you just have plastic clips all the way around? Why not? The screen had a huge bezel around it. Like, it's not like the touch glass was edgeless or something. The screen had like, like three quarter inches on every side of just black space around the LCD part. It just, it doesn't seem to me like there's any good excuse for it. They didn't have to fuse that together. They could have used a standard LCD and a piece of touch glass that just goes over it separately and holds the whole thing together. They, they could have done anything but what they did. There's no reason they couldn't have put an LCD with, with screw down tabs. And it's just I just don't get it. Like, what is it? it? Does HP just go, hey, Jody might work on this computer. Let's screw with them. I think they do. And anyway, I hate working on touchscreen computers. Um, I hate working on MacBooks because of that too, but I don't even try to repair MacBook screens. I take the whole top half off and replace it with another top half salvaged from another MacBook of the same model. Because I'm not doing that. I'm not even going to try to heat gun apart a friggin' tablet style laptop screen. I just, I hate it. I hate the way that these things are built. And they don't have to be built that way. They build them that way on purpose so they can't be repaired. It's, custom, it's, it's user hostile trash design and I can't stand it and nobody should have to stand for that crap. It's just, it's infuriating. Why do we put up with this? I have no idea. Anyway, I hate working on touch screens. Now, you know what? You know, what's, you know what I think is great? The kinds where there's two screws at the bottom. No, <clears throat> screw that. The kind where there's a plastic bezel around the front and you stick your fingernails in the bottom uh, where the LCD part is, not the bottom edge, but the bottom LCD, and you just pull forward and you hear a bunch of cracks and all the plastic clips, all the plastic clips that are holding that plastic bezel around that LCD all snap apart and everything's hunky-dory, you know? That's a beautiful thing. That is what I like. I enjoy a screwless design. You know what? Plastic clips, I hate them. But if you're going to give me a bezel, I can just peel off with my fingernails and then just squeeze to put right back in place and it holds everything together. That is beautiful. That is just, that is some chef's kiss bullshit right there. I will take that any day over a fused glass touchscreen piece of crap or the way that these overpriced piece of shit MacBooks have their screens assembled. Like, what are these, what are these people smoking that engineer this stuff? What's wrong with them? I find it far more simple, easy, pleasurable, enjoyable to service a $200 Celeron cheapy laptop with a broken screen than I ever will to repair a touchscreen laptop or an all-in-one or whatever because I swear to God, you get these cheapo laptops, they're built cheap, but you know what? They're, they're very simple designs, very, very easy to get in and out of. Yeah, some of them have EMMC, non-upgradable RAM, non-upgradable drive, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, that sucks. But at the same time, it's so amazing how well they work. It's so amazing how easy it is to get in there and just fix everything. You just don't get that experience with some of these snazzy premium laptops. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway rant over. I just really needed to get that off my chest. I've just been so pissed off, especially since I did that touch screen. It's just, I just, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm losing it. Can't stand it. All right. Thanks for listening.
Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I don't have to tell you. Take care.